Welcome to the breakdown. We break down all the messed up shit. There is no better time to talk about the Halloween horror that is Terrifier 2. Terrifier 2, directed by Damien Leone, is the sequel to Terrifier, which brought us the scariest looking clown in all of horror, Arthur Clown, played by David Howard Thornton. Now, Terrifier 2 is one of, if not the goriest movie I've ever seen, and that's saying something. Today, I'm going to talk to you about what happens in Terrifier 2. Now, we'll have to censor some stuff. Do you want to see what happens, including all the messed up parts? Stay tuned for the breakdown. Cue the Gohan. The movie starts like Arkham Asylum, feel like Gotham up in here. Terrifier 2 begins immediately after Terrifier, in which Art reanimates after shooting himself and attacks the doctor who was gonna cut him up. The doctor manages to call the police, but Art beats him over the head more and more, ripping out eyes. Doctor, come on, you should have been unconscious already. Just a few more bloody hammer hits before ripping this dude's entire brain out. Now this is how you start a horror movie. Art watches those police just miss him and goes into the dry cleaners to make sure he's still clean and fresh. He picks up a newspaper and laughs at the headlines. It's kind of funny how dark of a clown he is, but then the washing machine stops. This creeped me out so much. A pale clown girl similar to Art surprises him and it terrified me. The two kind of play around in a way only they can. Another man just woke up like, what the hell am I seeing? But he doesn't see the little brat like Art can. Art gets all cleaned up, leaving the dry cleaners after killing the unlucky sleeper. One year passes, and this girl named Sienna Shaw, played by Lauren Lavera, is putting in that work for her Halloween costume. Now that's a lot of love for Halloween. You better not wear that only once. This is the amount of work Spider-Man puts in his costume. Looks like a Norse Valkyrie ready to take the death of Valhalla. Sienna's little brother says he's gonna dress up as the Miles County Clown. He's gonna dress up as Art a year after the massacre. Mama and daughter talk about the little brother Jonathan, probably in his room looking at crime scene photos. He's reading about what happened in the first movie, and the death of the father some time ago has the entire family reeling in different ways. Later that night, Sienna has a nightmare, imagining herself in a clown cafe commercial. Art the Clown pops up scaring the poop out of Sienna. They're treating him like he's Michael Jackson. And Sienna's gift box is a human heart, which beats with blood as Art the Clown commits a bloody St. Valentine massacre on everybody there. Sienna crawls to the cereal box hoping for a deus ex machina that will stop Art, but he inches closer and closer, ready to make her suffer too. Sienna summons the sword she made for her costume and parries Art the Clown, having him look like a clown in more ways than one. But this reflects back to the real world, burning her angel wings. Mama gets that extinguisher and saves the day. You left burning candles on your dresser all night? What are you fucking stupid? Yeah, don't worry, Sienna. I left the oven on all night. People call you stupid after that, too. The rest of her costume is fine, just not the wings. And her sword must be max level, already ready for endgame. Meanwhile, Art the Clown and the little pale girl are readying up their comeback party. The television pops on showing the interview that we saw in Terrifier 1, the interview of Victoria who survived the first movie. Meanwhile, for Jonathan, he and his friends look at a dead opossum. Jonathan tells them to leave it alone, and in general has much more class than I thought. Looks like homeboy got a crush on Vanessa over there, but she's not feeling you after you showed her a dead animal. In the hallways, he sees the little pale girl skipping around, finding her and Art butchering the opossum, and by butcher I mean literally tear it apart with their hands before turning their attention to Jonathan and freaking out the nerd all the way home. Sienna and a friend talk about the Monica Brown interview, which happened today, but we saw it at the beginning of Terrifier 1. And her nose was like falling off of her face. Her eyes are all gouged out. Gosh, everybody in this town loves the sick details about everything. Just hearing it makes Sienna have a panic attack. The fuck y'all looking at? My panic attack must have really bothered your nosy ass, didn't it? Turn the fuck around. Sienna tells her supporter friends about how Art is about to destroy everything. But then, Sienna and a friend named Allie go to the costume store to buy some new wings. Are the angel and the demon about to rumble already? I love the pure disbelief on her face as Art shows up, but she squeezes by him using all the adrenaline she has left in her body. She has to pay $32.25 for them angel wings? Luckily, Art slams her bag down for her so she can lose her weekly allowance. The lovely cashier tells Art to stop bullying Selena, but there is only so much he can do from behind the register. Art locks the door and comically puts multiple items on the register. It's like Big Smoke ordering food from Cluckin' Bell. Art bashes a bottle over his 
head and blinds him with the broken glass before getting beheaded. At home, both siblings talk about Art being back to wreak havoc. In their father's old sketchbook, he finds a newspaper clipping of a girl whose body was discovered. They didn't have to add the horribly mutilated part, but that girl is the little pale girl, possibly a previous victim before evolving into that, and an image of the angel warrior who beheads the demon. Did their father know about Art and how to stop them? Honestly, I feel like their father is Art. <laughs> Jonathan got in trouble for what Art and the pale girl did. I know good and well that raggedy school got cameras. They should be able to look on the cameras to see Art messing around. Sienna gains the confidence to don her angel warrior costume and suits up like Bruce Wayne in a Batcave. Meanwhile, her dusty friend Allie gets attacked by Art. Terrified, Allie just watches in horror before playing tag all over the house. Ouch, that looked like it hurt. Art blinds her in one eye, scalps her, cuts her all in the back, and breaks her arm before ripping it off and slashing her off screen. That was probably one of the craziest death scenes I'll ever see. He comes back and literally pours salt over her wounds before ripping her face off. Even worse, Allie's mother comes home realizing that something is wrong and sees Art the Clown ripping more into her and she looks up and says, that was more red than the red wedding. Sienna and her friend Brooke drink up before getting surprised by Brooke's boyfriend. And you can see the social skills melt right off Sienna. Meanwhile, Art uses Allie's mom's skull as a trick or treat bowl. Little shocked to see the parents of these kids aren't horrified by it. And Jonathan argues with his mother about his late father's sketchbook. But mom is so pissed off at the situation, she tears pages off. Jonathan runs away after cursing at his mom. All while Sienna is really feeling herself hard. She went from awkward Laurie Strode to getting hot and heavy on the dance floor. Mom feels bad about what happened with Jonathan, but too late for that. Now it's time to potentially die. She finds the family car vandalized inside the garage. And back with Sienna, Sienna learns that she's been drugged by her friend. Brooke put Molly in her drink, but she's too drugged up to be mad about it. Oh, and Jonathan, where the hell did you run to? Haddonfield? Hey, anybody ever told you not to talk to strangers? Well, except on Halloween, so I guess it's cool. Mom thinks Jonathan vandalized the car and calls Sienna. She thinks Sienna is drunk, but Sienna hits her with the I love you somehow getting out of trouble. That was a brilliant move from someone drunk and high. Mom cleans up the car, but unfortunately, Art is inside and gives her a brutal but not painful death as he blows her head off. Back at the party, Sienna sees the little pale girl staring at her all over the party, terrifying her in front of everyone. Jonathan returns home, unfortunately seeing his mother's corpse sitting at the table, and Art comes and shoves mashed potatoes in her head. Jonathan manages to run upstairs and crawls to the angel ward your sword, but Art gives him a shot that knocks him out. Sienna argues with Brooke about her drugging her. Brooke is not a good person, especially since Sienna was already on Xanax. Jonathan calls her asking for help, but he's talking really good for someone that's unconscious. It's really because the little pale girl is a great impressionist. So let's go save Jonathan at the local carnival, the same carnival where the girl was killed. While Sienna checks out the area, the couple in the car talk about how Sienna's father offed himself by driving into a transformer because of a brain tumor ruining his life. Jonathan texts her saying that he's stuck, stuck in the Terrifier. Yeah, name of the movie in the movie. But Terrifier is the haunted attraction, and Jonathan wakes up seeing the little pale girl mutilating her face on purpose, but I probably should censor it because it is a child. Sienna enters the Terrifier, but Brooke and her boyfriend are making the worst mistakes some teens can make in a horror movie. While he urinates, Art the Clown cuts his whole off and rips it off. What did he do to deserve this treatment? Brooke gets dragged out but kicks Art away. You can run but you can't hide. He chases her to a bloody bathroom and shows her the Last of Us crafted weapon but really he hits her with corrosive acid kind of like how they did Harvey Dent and then beats her like Joel would if someone messed with Ellie. He completely destroys her upper torso. Rest in pieces Brooke. Your heart seems to be in good hands now. Sienna finds Brooke's body in the faded meeting between the demon clown and the angel warrior begin. It would be really crazy if Art said, Sienna, it's me, daddy. 
Jonathan surprises everyone, but Sienna brawls with Ark to save him. He beats her all over the room, but just leaves her alive. She gets back up and takes Ark's nail weapon, powering up to save her little bro. She hits him right over the skull with his own weapon, but Ark is Deadpool level impervious. The siblings talk about how to stop Ark, with Jonathan believing Sienna is the only way to kill him. Ark comes back to whip Jonathan before brawling with Sienna like Wii Sports Boxing. Unfortunately, she's not not that strong. Sienna takes the butt of the whips to spare her brother the pain, but then she grabs the whips from Art's hand and shows him some Amazonian retribution. Art comes back through and starts choking Sienna, but Jonathan takes the gun he had in his holster and blows him into Terrifier 3. Mom comes back from the afterlife to tell Sienna to get your ass up, but that ain't your mama. It was all just a Sharingan Gejutsu. Sienna fails to combat Art again, who pushes her through weak floorboards. Damn, she ain't gonna be in Terrifier 3. <laughs> she gets back up again, led to a harrowing red doorway to hell, but Art stabs her in the torso, sending her down. Really, she fell into a water torture chamber, roped and unable to escape from drowning. Sienna doesn't have those Houdini skills, but survives a long, torturous time seeing herself in the same setting as her nightmare. And unfortunately, Sienna drowns to death after fighting so hard. Jonathan screams for Sienna to help him, which in turn makes the sword go off. Sienna herself revives. She comes back from the dead, powering up like Kaioken Goku. Imagine if she dies again. <laughs> she breaks out of the water torture chamber, grabs her trusty sword, and stabs Art right in the spine and again in the neck. You're not the only one who can resurrect, clown, and cuts his throat like Arya Stark. She then beats his head off his neck, killing Art for the second time. Dude, your sister's cool. The little pale girl doesn't look too happy to see her dad is dead now, but laughs holding his head as if she knows that Sienna failed to really kill Art. It almost feels like it's the pale girl that resurrects him, but we know he will come back. The movie ends as the two siblings hug, having survived hell on earth like no one has ever seen. In the mid credit scene, we go to Miles County Psychiatric Hospital. Is that Chris Jericho? Victoria is here, the survivor of the first movie, but she's throwing up everywhere. Victoria is bleeding down there profusely, writing on the walls of Jericho all kinds of trash along with Vicky plus Art before giving birth to a living Art head. So Terrifier 2 is one crazy movie and I can't wait for the third. This was a little long though, but I think it's a classic. The most disturbed moment is easily the death of Allie. That is one of the most twisted deaths I've ever seen or will ever see. Golly. Most enjoyed moment was probably the ending fight in the Terrifier haunted house. I feel like most probably don't like the ending, but it felt good seeing someone so invincible being beat up for a change. If you like this video, then you need to see the 11 disturbing movies that terrified me the most. Terrifier 2 might make his way up there one day. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to see more spooky stuff. Thanks for watching. Spooky out.